welcome back to my youtube channel emma's farm projects so today i want to share with you something that is going to benefit you and something that is good but before i share with me let me first introduce to you a new product that we have got in uh that has joined our family remember this is like a family i'm creating a family of farmers a family of people so this is a new product that i'm introducing to you the shirt that i'm putting on yeah it's labeled emma's pro yes as i told you i'm emma's emma's pro and this is how it looks in the behind so this shirt will be uh costing twenty-five thousand Ugandan shillings if you are if you want to support me please uh order with me in the comment section or i'll be sharing my whatsapp number so today i want to share with you some of the things you need to consider before starting up a farm project or before starting up farming most of people just rush into farming because they have seen other people venturing into this business yes we believe here we are doing uh, our our team is saying we are doing farming as a business not farming as wasting time as most of people think that uh, they are they are just they are they, they, they have to do it as leisure thing no we are doing farming as a business it might be a side business but still we need to do farming as a business so i want to share with you some of the certain things you need to consider before joining the farm projects so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel emma's farm projects for more tutorial videos for any inquiry please i request anything you want to learn about anything you want me to talk about you leave it in the comment section this is emma's farm project yo so uh number one thing that you need to consider before starting up your farm project or a farm uh this number one thing yes um okay let me start with it's land let me call it land but space sometimes you don't need to have uh, a huge piece of land to start farming even around your home or around your homestead you can start up a very big farm so uh, in some of the businesses that you can uh, some of the farm projects that you can venture into when you are you have a small space around your home we have to utilize every space that we have there is uh, you can do rabbit keeping that is good for uh, little spaces then we can do sack vegetable growing growing our vegetables in sacks i think most of you people know about that you can do it around your home but if you can afford a very big piece of land or a road that is more uh, encouraged to you for you to have a very big piece of land so that you can portion here you have chicken here you have rabbits here you have uh, everything that you need so rabbits are good i repeat this rabbits are good to go the good it's a good business that is growing in uganda and i told you in one of my recent videos the reason why we say that rabbits don't have market is because we can't sustain the market we cannot sustain the market but if we can sustain the market so rabbit is good to go so that is number one uh number two one of the important thing that you need to have when venturing into farming is capital capital is very serious uh you may be like that you can start farming without what but you need capital first of all like for instance uh you know i, I love using rabbits because i'm into rabbits right now more into rabbits i do other things i do other farmings but i'm into rabbits first of all you need to construct cages for the rabbits if it is good you have to construct them houses if it is chicken you have to construct uh for them houses uh number one thing that you need uh this capital is when you have your capital uh you can do you, you like even buying breeds yes you remember the good breeds we have to buy them they have to be good and good for meat production so if you don't have like uh, if you don't have good capital you are going to starve with everything but when you have your capital ready you are good to go it may not be huge sums it depends on the uh, inflation level uh, now now at around here in 2022 this in uganda things are somehow expensive fuel so someone may charge you uh, to to build for you like a rabbit cage uh, at an expensive price which is okay if you can afford it go for it but if you can wait a little bit so that prices go low 
I prefer you do that because you don't need to go into rabbit tree and construct cages then mm. so another thing that you need capital capital you can buy feeds remember la, now if you're doing if you are doing your farming in town uh, these feeds yes in villages those people have chances they have feeds for free but here in town most of the feeds we buy them like the rabbit parrots there uh, the, there is hay for both the uh, both the rabbits and the cows and maybe the goats uh, so you, you need capital to also purchase feeds for your animals remember you have to feed your animals very well for you to gain in them so uh space capital so another thing that is so important and this is so important you have to structure you have to structure your farm where you see there is an available market. Yes, you may be having a piece of land far, far in the, in the village. But remember, you are going to incur costs that are going to make you feel like it's a burden to you. And I don't want you to do this farming as a burden. I want you to do this farming as you enjoy. So, uh, locate your farm or locate your structures in a place where you see that there is an available market for your thing. Like here in town, Yes, there is market for rabbits. And if you need market, I mean, and if you need rabbits, just contact me. Yes, I'm free. Just contact me, then we see if you need that market. Or if you have uh, if you have rabbits that you're selling, or you want to sell your rabbits, feel free to contact me. I'll leave a comment section. As long as you have good breeds, they are healthy, they look well. Yes, we shall get that market. We shall share, share the market. So I was telling you, if you locate your, your your farm in a place where you see there is market, then you won't incur a lot of transport costs. All of us will believe that. Yes, we shouldn't incur transport costs when, when we are doing our farming. So um, another thing you need to know that uh, uh, these animals or farming depends on the areas you, you want to plant. So like in, in rural district, we know rural district is good for coffee and pineapples. Yes, so you should you should be able to know that. So um, another thing that you should know about when you are starting your 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 farm project or any farm project, time. I repeat this time. Don't do this as a part time, but remember to gain in farming. You yourself, you have to get involved in your business, in farming, like any other business. It needs more of your time. You have to be there. Even if you have workers, yes, they may be good workers, but you need time. You need to visit your garden or you need to visit your farm projects regularly. If you're doing piggery, if you're doing rabbits, if you're doing hens, anything, you have to be involved more into your farming. You have to give in more of your time if you want to gain more in rabbits. I repeat, time. Please, give more. Don't just send someone, go and see for me, do what, what. No, involve yourselves in this. So, I think an another thing you need to know uh, when you are starting your, your rabbit ring, something that uh, most of the people they do, don't, uh, don't put on too don't put emphasis on there are a lot of things that you need to know for sure there are a lot of things that you need to know about uh, what to consider when starting farms yes don't just rush into this business but just understand it and i remind you if you are ready to go into farming and you are watching this video you have watched me subscribe to my youtube channel and press the the, the bell button let's go together i don't want to develop alone yes i've even laughed i don't want to develop alone that's why i open up this youtube channel maybe i would have done another channel or uh, or I've, I've i would have ventured into other things but i've decided to come and share with you ideas on what to do so if i miss out anything and you see it's important you leave it in the comment section so we discuss about it and another thing that i want to tell you as we go on if you are ready to be hosted on my youtube channel free feel free to come to, to leave a comment also or contact me i'll visit your farm we make people know our businesses remember when you come here it's like you're marketing your products when i interview you or when i i make you 
uh, feature on my YouTube channel. You are advertising your product. You are making your product known to people. And this is one of another thing that we should consider. You should know how you are going to market your thing. There is nothing that is going to market itself. That's a lie. There is no product that is going to find for itself market. That you are just going to put it there, then it finds itself market. No, that's a lie. You have to have strategies on how you are going to get your market. Most of the people are lied that you can start. Like people, they may lie you that when you, you start rabbit tree or when you, you start your rabbit farm, that within a month you'll be in 30 millions. No, things take, these the, the things are patient. Yes, rabbits give birth at a very faster rate. But if you don't have market, you will just be with your your, your, your rabbits. You eat them yourselves, especially when you eat them like me. But when you have strategies, you have to put strategies on how to do it. So before forgetting this, yes, thank you. Uh, before forgetting this, uh, there is something that most of the farmers neglect or they play around. This is book keeping we have to record everything from the start from the zero that you are starting from the planning that you start you have to record everything your inflows your outflows your income you have to record a good farm has to have good records you have to have records on when your animals have given birth on when you have planted your plants anything you have to have records you record somewhere yeah. Yes, so those things that I've talked about and a few that I've left out but I'll talk about in my next video because I don't want to make it make my video so lengthy so that you don't get any information. But if you like this video and if you like whatever that I've shared with you, please leave something in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Emma's Farm Projects. I'm ready to share with you anything and i've said if you are ready to 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 be featured to to feature on my youtube channel just leave a, a comment a, a comment in the comment section i'll be contacting you thank you may god bless you in whatever that you do don't forget even my shirts sorry i did not talk about my shirts they are only twenty five thousand ugandan shillings so far that is the price but very soon it may go up yes but buy it as now and other products that will be coming. Thank you. 